Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can take any flash file that you've already created and use it within another flash file. So to get started we're just going to open up flash and here you can see that I have the simple image gallery and the next and previous gallery that I've created in previous tutorials. So we're first going to go to file new. We're just going to create a action script 3 document and now that we have that open we're going to take and put both of these galleries within this one document. So uh, basically what we need to do first is go to insert within our new document, insert, new symbol, and then make sure it's on movie clip and then we're just going to title this uh, simple gallery so that it corresponds with what we're adding into it. We're going to click OK and basically what we have here is a blank movie clip. If you go back to scene one you can see this is our uh, default document. It's not on there really um, but we've created it over here in the library so if you f flip over to the library you can see simple gallery and you can get back into it and edit it by double clicking that so what we're going to do is take and put our simple image gallery within this uh, movie clip so we're going to go back to that document we're going to click on the first uh, layer within the document and then go down to the last layer by holding shift and then just click so again you're on the top layer hold shift click on the bottom one now uh, I've seen some sometimes uh, used frames to do that uh, I th find it much easier if you click on the first layer and then you hold shift and click on the bottom layer um, and then you want to go over to the frames and you want to right click go up to copy frames and then you want to go back to your document that you want that in go to the first frame of that blank movie clip and click paste frames so now you can see that we have our gallery right there so if we go back to scene one you can also see over in the library we have all of the information, the tweens, um, the images, the buttons, everything from that gallery is now in our library to use in this new document. So if we take this uh, original movie clip that we have right here, the simple gallery one, and just drag that out, you can see we can take that, place it wherever we want, you can size it down, uh, and it will still run perfectly fine. And if we want to edit that anymore, you can just open it up and you have all of your information right there. So now we're just going to real quick insert the other image gallery. So I'm going to go to insert, new symbol, movie clip. We're just going to call it next prev for previous. Click OK. Go back to the gallery. We're going to click on the top layer. Hold shift. Click on the bottom layer. Go over to the frames. Right click. Right click. Uh, copy frames. Go back to the new document. Going to paste frames on the first one and here you can see that it's inserted that so we can go back to scene one and then just drag that movie clip in so now um, what I'm going to show you is you can actually run both of these at the same time if you take and go to control test movie since they're in the same uh, or they're in their own movie clips everything should work um, fine even if they have similar names um, they're still running separately so you can click through these and you can see that gallery is still working and you can see that this one also is good to go so there you go. Um, you might be wondering how this is uh, helpful to you in an actual situation. Um, if you wanted to take and you were making a website and say you wanted to drop in a gallery that you've made of some of your photos, um, you can take and just drop that in with this method. If you wanted to preload something and you didn't feel like taking and remaking the preloader within the current file, take and drop in your preloader that you created in a separate file and you're good to go. So it's got um, a lot of potential um, in saving you time and um, frustration. So hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.